Welcome to our presentation, KDMRI, a knowledge utilization framework for image reconstruction and restoration in MRI workflow. I am Balamulli Murugesan from Indian Institute of Technology, Madras. Deep learning networks have been proposed for different stages in MRI workflow and have shown promising results. However, deep learning methods are specific to task and data set. For MRI reconstruction, the network is also specific to degradation. This task specific nature of networks require larger storage, hence development of memory efficient models is necessary. Model compression is a solution for developing memory efficient models. However, reduction in parameter results in performance degradation. Knowledge distillation is one way to develop memory efficient models without significant drop in accuracy. In knowledge distillation, lower performance of memory efficient student model is improved by memory intensive state of the art feature network. For MRI reconstruction and restoration stage in MRI workflow, we propose the following. Attention based feature distillation, student network learns the intermediate representation of feature. Imitation loss, loss between teacher and student acts as regularizer to student reconstruction loss. We demonstrate our proposed method for MRI reconstruction. MRI reconstruction is the transformation of data from Fourier domain to image domain. MRI is a slow imaging modality, hence undersampling in case space is done to accelerate it. The artifact introduced by undersampling are DLIs using deep networks. Deep Cascade Convolution DCCNN is the most commonly used MRI reconstruction network. It consists of cascades of convolution and data consistency. Convolution layer learns the image to image mapping and data consistency is to provide consistency in Fourier domain. For knowledge distillation, teacher DCCNN is five cascade and five convolution layers and student DCCNN is five cascade with three convolution layer each. Attention transfer loss is shown in equation one and it is obtained between the channel sum of intermediate feature maps of teacher and student. Teacher feature map acts as target. The loss between teacher and student is the imitation loss and it is used as a regularizer with student reconstruction loss. The total loss is given in equation two. Outline of the proposed method is depicted here. Attention transfer is done between the middle layers of each cascade. Imitation loss is obtained between prediction of predictions of teacher and student DCCNN. The training procedure. Train the teacher DCCNN using teacher reconstruction loss. Train the student DCCNN using attention transfer loss. Now load the weights from step two and fine tune student DCCNN using student reconstruction loss and imitation loss. We use cardiac, brain and knee data set for our experiments. Cartesian undersampling is done to get zero field data. Here we present the quantitative comparison of teacher, student and our model for different data sets and acceleration factors. In the table, it can be seen that across data set and acceleration factors, ours is better than student and closer to teacher. Structures reconstructed using our method are closer to teacher compared to student, which is evident using this qualitative comparison. Conclusion. We propose KD framework for restoration and reconstruction. Teacher supervision is obtained through combination of attention transfer and imitation loss. And we show its efficacy using deep cascade convolution layers. Code and paper are available online. Thanks for listening to our presentation.